like it. Oh God. <laughs> We're going to do a quick how-to on Rainbow's rig. We're going to look at the belt. We're going to look at his belt guides, which a lot of people have problems with the belts falling off on these. So, let's take a quick look. First off, we're going to lift up the seat, and we can see the transmission guiding in here. You see his rear pulley. It's about a five-inch pulley. Get low enough. I can see the guides. And here's his belt guides. You see we got just two bars all the way across, then two stoppers here. If you can. Watch what happens when we push the clutch in. The belt loosens up and touches those two spots on the side, and that keeps the belt from getting too wide and catching on the pulley. It helps release your clutch. So let's move on underneath. Take a look at belt guides underneath. You can also see the belt guides in the back from here. Just two bars across, two things, belt. We got this little loop here, just kind of catch it in the middle. We have the two bars coming off the side here, with a little piece here. And then we also have it over here, two bars coming off. Now there's no stopper on this side, but let's open the clutch up. With the clutch opened up there, how it works. Now, nice thing about these is we can do a belt change pretty fast on this. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to go back to the back. You can see from under there. Push the clutch in. Just pop that right off there. Because we leave a little gap between the belt guides and the pulley, belt fits right through. Comes off there. Push the clutch in again. And that is how you get a belt off in about 30 seconds.